Taking right, left, nice and slow, right, left. So let's say it, right, left, nice and slow, right, left. Doom, tick, doom, tick, doom, tick, doom, tick. Doom tick, 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 doom tick. was good for you and if it was still too fast simply slow it down for yourself you know Lane would say like when learning a new rhythm you have to play it so slowly that it doesn't even make sense to you it doesn't sound musical at all it's just a series of sounds strokes on a drum and then gradually you can play it a little faster some of you, this is your very first drum. And for some of you, you've been playing other instruments, not just other drums. So you're coming to this with a set of skills already that you can learn fairly quickly. However, it is a lot to coordinate for anyone who is new to stepping and playing. Some people just have, I mean, I don't know if I would say a natural, we all have a natural ability for it. Some of us just come to it more prepared, especially if you've been a dancer. It's just awkward, you know, this is an intricate finger style instrument and we're stepping and we're reciting. It's like, blah, are you breathing? And I hope you're not chewing gum, you know what I mean? So it is a lot to juggle. And so that's why I say, anytime, leave out the stepping. Or if you're stepping and playing, leave out the ticks and just focus on the stroke. Or if you're stepping and reciting and you're not ready to do all this, clap it so that you can step and say it and clap it. There are multiple ways that we can modify our learning curve for doing this and it is worth it. It really is. You can ask anyone who, who has done this work I can't play without stepping anymore, as I said in class. No matter what instrument I'm playing, the stepping has to be there, or I'm lost without it. And, and any one of my students, and any one of Lane's students, we've all said it's just an integral part to what we're doing. So it's not just to prepare to do a procession for an event, or in a class, you know, when we're in a procession in a class. It's to actually, it's a full body experience. It feels so good to do that. It may not feel good to you now. <laughs> Just be easy on yourself, okay? Be real easy on yourselves and let it, let it just, you know, relax with it and do your best. Do as you can, what you can as you can. And I promise you, over time, when it integrates, the aha moments will be brilliant for you. I, I really do believe that in my heart. So thank you for trusting me with that and trusting yourself and giving it a try. Remember that 
we sway opposite each other when you are watching on the screen. Just like if we were in a circle together, the people to my right and left would be stepping with me and the people to your right and left would be stepping with you. However, when you are directly opposite me in a circle, then you're swaying opposite me. So imagine that you're opposite me in the circle. Look to your right and left and imagine the woman on your right and on your left swaying with you and feel that, feel that sway.